like one of my favorite topics. <laughs> so the endocannabinoid system, like a digestive system, a nervous system, an immune system, we all have these systems, right? And we also have an endocannabinoid system within our body. And what makes it special is that it's interconnected with all of those other organ systems throughout our body. And it maintains something called homeostasis, which is balance within the body and mind. Cool. So how it communicates with all those other systems is through receptors that are located within the cell membranes. So the surface of the cell in all of those organs and our primary receptors are CB1 and CB2. CB1 is primarily in our central nervous system, so our brain and spinal cord. Mm -hmm. And then CB2 is primarily in our immune system, so our peripheral kind of cells throughout mm -hmm. our body. But both of them are located throughout our body. And our bodies produce their own natural endocannabinoids. So there are these molecules that interact with those receptors to bring balance, well-being, feelings of happiness, and just overall centered calmness. And one of those is called anandamide, which is actually nicknamed the bliss molecule, mm. which is pretty cool. And so we have the system that interacts with these molecules, but they also interact with phytocannabinoids, which are found in the cannabis plant. Mm. So the main two phytocannabinoids are CBD and THC. THC is the primary psychoactive component, and it interacts with that CB1 receptor, which was in the brain and spinal cord. So that's where that euphoria comes from. Okay. And then with CB2, it more so interacts with some non-endocannabinoid targets okay. and somewhat our CB2 receptor, but the mechanism is still being researched, but overall CBD is this balancing component that it doesn't give that high. It's more so responsible for relaxation, bringing calmness, and just bringing that balance. And there's different ways you can promote your endocannabinoid system and kind of pick up this balance. Um, exercise is one. So exercise kind of increases the natural endocannabinoids occurring in our body. And have you ever heard of runner's high? Yes. yes so yes, yes. people normally say that's endorphins mm -hmm. giving that effect. It's actually endocannabinoids. It's that anandamide molecule that's giving that runner's high when you reach a certain intensity and volume of workout. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so exercise one, diet is another. So consuming healthy fatty, uh, fatty foods like that have omega-3s and omega-6s, so fish, nuts, hemp seed, walnuts, those things help to raise your endocannabinoid levels. And then the last would be cannabis. So because of those phytocannabinoids that occur in cannabis, when you use cannabis products, they interact with your endocannabinoid system. And depending on the molecule, it'll give a certain effect. So 